What's good, YouTube? This video is going to be about dating entanglements. <laughs> uh, listen, uh, if you haven't noticed, I don't normally do reaction videos, uh, and I really don't plan to start. Um, there's something in me that won't allow me to do what everyone else is doing. Uh, if you ever come to my channel and you see that something that is trendy is also covered on my channel in the same time that it's trendy, know that it is completely by accident. I do not like to follow the crowd. In fact, I rebel against groupthink and the crowd, uh, sheep mentality. Uh, not that I'm above it or better, uh, but I just like to be different and I like to be on my own wave and I like to make sure I'm, I'm managing my vibrations and my influences personally and not the world or the atmosphere around me. So just know that I'm not doing this because it's trendy. In fact, that's why I waited so long to do it because I didn't want it to be the top thing. I didn't want to be competing with all of those ideas. Um, and I don't know what those ideas are. I don't watch these other YouTube channels. I'm not looking at this stuff all day on the online. It's just not something I'm into. But... A lot of people keep asking me to weigh in on this, and I think there are some valuable ideas that can be drawn from this, so I want to talk about it. I put a meme up on, uh, I put a post up on Instagram that said, um, if you find yourself uh, in an entanglement or an entangled ship, um, please get yourself respect in order. Um, I probably I said something else too anyway. It was on my Instagram for those of you who follow me on Instagram, and those of you who follow me on Twitter, you can see it. I'm kfic24 on Instagram. I think I'm Kevic24 on Twitter. I don't even get on Twitter, to be honest, like that. But anyway, I put it on Twitter and I put it on Instagram. Uh, and I got a lot of feedback. You know, the thing is this. Um, so many folk, so many people are focused on what Jada's done or, or you know, um, or, you know, somehow or another, whether or not they were together and whether or not it was an affair. I don't really care about that. I don't care about what Jada had going on at all. To me, Jada represents most men who, who uh, somehow or another start to uh, think that their happiness is synonymous with, you know, their partners or their or their flings or their consumption of love in, in certain ways. And so I'm not really even focused on Jada because she, to me, she reminds me of the typical man who is stepping out on his woman. Uh, who, who believes that he's entitled to a certain type of specific uh, experience from each woman or, or a particular woman. So um, no hate to Jada. Uh, first of all, she didn't cheat on her husband. They were separated. You know, I, I mean, it was technically cheating, but they were not together. You know, I don't really care about that. What I do care about, though, is uh, so many women I know are August Alsina in this situation. So many women I know uh, find themselves to be trying to enter into uh, an already established relationship or relationship that is not completely cut off or somebody who has ne who needs to tie up their loose ends and they try to insert themselves into that relationship thinking that uh, somehow or another they can have a whole relationship and you cannot do that like entering yourself into someone's mess uh, in order to uh, you know find stability of your own it's just not a thing that ever really works out well a lot of these women have had bad relationship experiences and so they learn to accept less from the very beginning so they get into these relationships as third parties not because they necessarily want to be a third party but because they're so beat down emotionally and mentally um, it's really all they have room to uh, to, to to pursue uh, and and Unfortunately, a, a person who has a rough relationship or is experiencing unhappiness in their relationship always lacks those accessory types of relationships. The full-blown, completely responsible relationships don't necessarily give them this, the, 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 the bang for their buck that they want. So they usually pull in a third party who's willing to accept the role of a third party. I don't believe August Alsina was completely a third party, but he does remind me so much of the women I speak to who are emotionally unstable, who are mentally unstable, who are going through a bad uh, time in their life or in a bad space mentally, and then they try to add themselves to a relationship or love uh, from someone who still has a connection to someone else, who's still really not finished with their partner, right? Because again, um, their self-esteem, their self-respect doesn't require someone to dedicate themselves at that moment. And also, just like in the mental health video, some people are trying to heal themselves and medicate themselves with relationships, with love, right? Now, you can fall into an entanglement or a situationship, you know, inadvertently. Um, it's not always planned. But a lot of you women uh, who are dating these guys who still have relationships, wives, girlfriends, uh, baby, babies, mothers who are, you know, still very much connected to them and still very much involved in with, with them and still still drawn to them in that way uh, you're adding yourself as a third party even if 
there's a, a, a you know quote unquote separation or or an alleged separation when people aren't done with each other it's not time for you to step in and cut the tie with with scissors it's time for you to find somebody else or to take a step back even Jada and Will said they couldn't stay away they realized that they were not uh, you know people who were meant to be apart you know or however they said it uh, so that tells me during that time when when uh, Jada and Will went around August Alcina, he could tell that there was still a lot there. You know, and no one's he's not stupid. Uh, so he jumped into that with full knowledge that this was a messy situation. Right. And a lot of you women are jumping into these situations that are very, very messy. And then you're disappointed with the results you get. He said he was going to leave her a year ago. He said he's not happy and he's still with her. I, I'm still on the side. Why, why can't we have a real relationship? Why can't I be uh, the number one? Why does it seem like we're both with him, right? Well, why does he still keep going back to her? And you're competing with someone who was in a man's life for years, decades, you know, before you even knew him, and you're trying to figure out how to get more than in an entanglement or a situationship. Um, it's very difficult to do that. A lot of women destroy their minds trying to become a person's main when there's already a main there, okay? So... Uh, my concern with this whole entanglement thing isn't whether or not Jada was cheating. I think what she did was uh, ethical enough as it pertains to her separation. But I don't like what she did as it pertains to uh, seeing this young man uh, who's alv always uh, been apparently in mental health, uh, having mental health trouble. Uh, seeing this young man that was not healthy, uh, not whole, not stable, and adding her mess to his mess uh, by creating a situation with him that he might not have been um, uh, mentally prepared for, especially being so much older and wiser and more alluring. Um, older women sometimes don't realize this, but they have this goddess-like energy that that uh, that kind of overtake men and hypnotize young men. Uh, we always speak about how women date older guys, and you know, I did a video recently about how um, you know dating younger men, you know, can be this or that, uh, but. Older women have uh, a certain alluring grace and power and, and divinity that younger women don't don't even achieve into a certain point, right? We always hear so much about how a man's distinguishment and age start, starts to be attractive. Women have a similar thing that happens with them, except it's a little bit more spiritual and a little bit more powerful um, than just, oh, she's attractive and she's uh, you know she's hot for 50, she's hot for 40 something, she's hot for 60. It's not that. It's, it's spiritual. It's different. And so I think that, you know, in, in using that energy and using her wisdom and her influence and her power, because she's a very powerful woman, she manipulated this young brother into thinking that there was some some real history or, or I'm sorry, some real uh, future uh, when she hadn't really figured out what she wanted to do. Right. So she, because she was a little bit messed up and she wasn't mentally healthy, she added that to someone else and she actually did more damage to him in the long run while she found herself. And I think a lot of people are that woman or are that are that guy. A lot of you are out August Alcina dealing with the man who don't know what he wants. Uh, he has no plans. Uh, he, he's he's kind of, you know, just floating, trying to figure out what he wants. But he knows he wants this and he knows he wants that. And then you volunteer to be one of those. Um, it's just a really shitty situation. So please um, try not to find yourself uh, at, in an entanglement or or as a third wheel or as a third party to one of these relationships that are in and out, on and off. Uh, don't be that person trying to figure out how to sever ties, how to cut that string uh, completely because it almost never happens. Some people are always going to deal with each other. From 20 to 70, they, they played around. They never really got serious or they got serious and came back to each other. My wife watches uh, Young and the Restless and Bold and the Beautiful. And I suppose I should admit I watch it a little bit too just because she watches it so much. But, um, you know, it was a time where if I wanted to spend time with her, especially when I worked third shift, I had to watch what she watched. And that was that. So, you know, uh, Victor Newman and uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, you know, Victor Newman and his wife that keeps going back and forth. For, for decades, they've been married over and over again, and they always come back to each other. No matter who who taps who in the Genoa City community, they always come back to each other. That reminds me of Will and Jada. That reminds me of a lot of these guys that you guys try to insert yourselves uh, into the lives of. Um, babies, mothers, ex-wives, uh, special friends that they've had for a long time who already have their attention um, share it with you because they have a very loose definition of what their relationship is. But if you have a, a very rigid definition of a relationship, then you do not want to add yourself to an entanglement, a situationship, a friends, a friends with a benefit ship, or anything in between. 
please go and find your own man who has nothing else, uh, who has no uh, attachments or chains to anyone else. <clears throat> Just like Algus Alcina said, how it turned his life upside down or it, it was he was at the lowest point of his life and it, it did a lot of it ruined a lot of stuff for him. It, like it sent him into a greater uh, pain and depression to, to lose that. Like I, I feel like um, a lot of these guys are offering themselves up to you, but partially and you're accepting it. So don't be that person. Uh, if you want a whole relationship, go find a whole relationship. Don't go find an entanglement. Don't go find a situation. Don't add yourself as a third party to somebody who has strings attached to someone who can, who they can't get rid of or who they can't seem to detach themselves from. Right? You have to observe a person. You have to observe a person for long enough before you decide that you will love them and you intend to love them. Because when you don't pay enough attention and you're not observing enough, you end up being that. And so many women are doing so much more damage to themselves, trying to uh, get between two people who can't uh, stay away from each other or who are inseparable because they see, you know, value in that man that maybe that person isn't seeing at the time. Uh, but it never works out. Also, no one should be responsible for your happiness. And I think that that's something that we missed here is that... Um, uh, you know, Jada says she she wasn't happy and she cried every day and you know and that was that that's legit. There are people who are very very unhappy, uh, but that would then make August uh, her her happiness and that responsibility shouldn't rely on his shoulders either. Right, right in the mental health video, I was just talking about that. You have to bring happiness to a relationship. You can't go seek it out of someone else. You can't pull happiness out of a person. Right, that's like trying to squeeze water from a rock. OK, happiness should, should grow inside of you. It should come from within. And then you add that happiness to someone else's happiness. Right. And that's how you form a healthy relationship. If she was unhealthy mentally and compromised and she added herself to an even more compromised individual, what did she think was going to happen? Right. You have to be you have to be aware and you have to be mindful at all times about the level of stability uh, that is either there or not there. Right. Present or not. So, even if she had intentions on never speaking to Will again and never being with him again, she just gave August Alcina the responsibility of making her a happy person, which is ridiculous. If she hadn't been happy in a long time, then she should have found happiness within herself. And after that, dated whoever she wanted, hopefully a stable person, not a young man who's, you know, lured by her, her celebrity, her success, you know, and, and, and you know, her, her goddess-like energy. But a stable partner who can add his stability to her stability uh, and form something healthy. Uh, but to enter a man's life in, 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 because you, he needs help mentally and physically and then you, you give him some, what they call it, um, women often call it the devil, devil D. And uh, so she gave him some devil P or some demon P or whatever y'all be saying. And now he's hooked. And he's no more stable, no more healthy, no more happy or whole than before, you know, outside of thinking that he has you and now you become each other's escape. Uh, you can't medicate yourself with, with DP or relationships or love. Medicate yourself with a proper process and a proper uh, management system for your mental health disorders if you have one. If you don't, BetterHelp uh, link is in the description. Uh, they're my sponsor. I believe in BetterHelp. I believe in mental health uh, uh, counseling in all forms, you have to find out what's right for you. If BetterHelp's not for you, find something that's right for you. I don't, it's not even about BetterHelp. It's about you just doing what it takes to become a more healthy person and making that the priority before you add that to a relationship. And a lot of people who aren't healthy are the ones who find themselves in these entanglements because they have self-esteem issues and they have self-concept issues and um, sometimes mental health issues. So um, I don't know what I meant to say. I just rambled a little bit, but uh, that's my idea on the whole uh, Jada and Will and the entanglement thing. Um, they were separated. I don't really care about that. And a woman has a right to go seek out love. I get that. But she should seek out love from a healthy place and not have a leverage or superiority over the person she seeks love from. Anyway, that's all I got for now. Follow me at KFIC24 on Instagram. I'll get with y'all later.